YouTube. How's everybody doing? Check it in. We got the long drive here to the big city, so I uh, thought I'd check in. Maybe we'll ramble for a bit, see what kind of video we can put out here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we kind of get back into the swing of things with uh, with the morning news and whatnot. So that's been good. And, uh, just uh, kind of kicking it there. But uh, hey, we got nice views here. The weather's going nice. Hopefully things don't dry out too quick so we can not have a super bad fire season. We want to avoid that. But uh, in particular, thinking about This Chinese situation, we talked about it a little bit this morning. Uh, Chinese military base in Djibouti, some incidents there. Uh, lasers getting shined at uh, American aircraft, etc., etc. A couple injuries. Um, it kind of just goes along with them. Some of the escalation in the South China Sea. And uh, it might just further prove that the Chinese are playing 20G chess. And the Americans are playing checkers. Um, it uh, feels like you're being outmaneuvered in your own game at this point. The uh, Chinese held back for several decades, just kind of building up their own infrastructure and their economy and everything. And then all of a sudden they just explode out and kind of doing the same kind of actions we've been doing for decades kind of threw everybody off guard um, I think potentially there's definitely a, a lot of concern in the powers that be that they're going to lose their grip on control of certain areas access to certain areas the Chinese are going to gain more influence it's one of those things it's okay if I do it but if you do it it's not okay right that's what it seems like it's not like uh, China has invaded places with, you know, all these troops and whatnot, subjugated them. They haven't created a false enemy to go around the world chasing down. Um, and they kind of see, uh, what I think a lot of us see is that the Western Empire is at its peak in decline due to financial obligations and we talk about population growth uh, declines and everything else. Uh, it just doesn't have the capacity to keep up. Um, except for maybe some of the technology that gives us an advantage. So it's something to kind of keep an eye on is China continues to grow this empire, if you will. It doesn't uh, bode well. That Djibouti, uh, that Djibouti camp the Chinese are a mile from our base camp there. It's like, how did that happen? <laughs> Who was in charge of that? And, and was that really a Djibouti government uh, issue? Were they just authorized that? Or it seems kind of odd because Djibouti is kind of like as close as you'll get to the Wild West. No infrastructure, no, no services, stuff like that much if you don't bring it in you don't have it but uh, there we are so some thoughts on that issue as things get going the uh, body cam footage from Vegas has come out from the Mandalay Bay shooting and that doesn't is not matching the narrative is uh, feeding the further fires of continued uh, conspiracy theory for lack of a better word um, when your body cam footage is contradicting the official story um, that you've held on to for eight months you know what else are you going to get what else are people supposed to think um, how do you not well, I guess it's been six months sorry not eight um, what are people supposed to think other than you're holding something. You're hiding things. Uh, you're lying outright. And 
behind it. There's, there's got to be an agenda behind it. Uh, there's a couple of uh, thought pieces out there about you know how it ties to the Saudis being in town and some other things. And one of the initial uh, audios off of a body cameras, thousands of guns were present in the room. Which you know what happened to those thousands in the interim? Well we've talked about a gun running deal gone bad um, <laughs> so if they didn't carry them out uh, with them or they weren't already transported out because the, the deal went down before the shooting they left them behind and the uh, FBI cleaned it up before an official story was made that would seem to match a little bit with the timeline of uh, Official entry, etc., and some of the reports that were delayed coming out, where you didn't know who was what and what was what. They're saying there's an audio of there's no broken glass, uh, no windows being opened, just the uh, drapes being opened, no broken glass in the room. Um, you really got to look into that, like. I seriously go in there and break the glass after the fact because they were actually shooting from a different location <laughs> it just makes people's heads continue to spin in thoughts about what's really going on because the official story has never been legit they've never pumped out that good legitimate narrative or official story was never cohesive enough to be believable Unless you're just uh, saying because Lombardo says it, it must be true. And anybody who does that's a fool. <laughs> but that's what they've been trying to push the last six months. Um, sad state of affairs. Who knows what, if we'll ever know what really happened. Um, but Lombardo's running for re-election, so he probably thinks he can cover all that up, right? just a couple things that uh, some further thoughts on that you know one local one bigger picture that uh, affect us in one way or the other you know but spring is here staying busy around the home site trying to get some plants in the ground and some animal management done. You know what I'm saying? Try to keep them in line and just doing the thing, you know? Doing good. And we uh, shared that video earlier in the week of the, uh, the Texas courtroom uh, videotape uh, issue. I don't know why we call it videotape. Videotape doesn't even exist anymore. Digital recording, <laughs> digital recorders, uh, <laughs> digital video. Yeah, we still use videotape. Everybody still uses it as common lingo. It's kind of funny that way. Uh, but there was another video that I shared on the G Plus yesterday. Uh, James Freeman, the guy who made, who got, was the guy that got arrested. Uh, he that got out. He did a video right after that. I watched yesterday. He went right back to the courthouse videotaping uh well the court wasn't in session but that's a that is an awesome video you gotta go check it out it is uh straight up uh, i'll put it in the description box below or up here in the cards as well it is the most awesome uh put your money where your mouth is type of video that any type of you know activist type people have obviously ever seen put out he goes right back to the court in the, in the county building there and just uh, goes right in the courtroom and is filming and talking and stuff. And, and he's talking about the, you know, his, his upcoming court hearings and whatnot. It's really good stuff. Um, really good stuff. So I, rec I, I encourage everybody to watch that just for a feel good video. It makes you feel good about potential and people uh, willing to fight for their causes. You know what I'm saying? the nature of that and uh, whatnot. Seems like everybody on the
the YouTube's been doing good. Haven't uh, seen no disasters hitting in the uh, areas of fellows out there. There were a couple of tornadoes out there, but I don't know anybody that was impacted. But we, did, we had the uh, volcano in Hawaii going off this morning or yesterday. That'd be some interesting footage. See how that evac plan, they evac'd about 1,700 people, I believe. I wonder if anybody had their bug out plan ready to go. You figure living that close to a volcano, you would have something in place, right? Um, but uh, do people just live, you know, even that close to a dangerous situation like that, people just live a, uh, what's the right word for it, you know, blind to the reality? How many of those 1,700 actually had legitimate, you know, plans to, I'm going to pack this and if we got to go, we got to go type thing. But you would think they'd be ready. I mean, it only makes sense. You ain't got so much time to get out if you're told the volcano's going to go. Let's go, right? Yeah, that's a good lesson in preparedness. Find your most most likely threat is what you should be preparing for. <laughs> Live in California, probably earthquake. You know? The way things are going, the water shortage, the drought situation, all the water being sucked down into LA. How do you prepare for that? Like, what's your most likely threat? You know, don't all the stuff for the bigger picture, World War Three, alien invasion, whatever. Yeah, there's, you can't, have, you can't really change it. A lot of the preparations you make for dealing with your local issue, earthquake, fire, wildfire, tornado, is just going to help you get through that next stage. You know, focus on what's really day-to-day -day important for you to prepare for, to have, have stuff ready because you know it's only a matter of time, right? Um, and the other stuff, when the big stuff happens, you know, you'd be able to take care of yourself. Don't try to go zero to 60 right away because it doesn't work out very well. You, you don't know where to start if you try to go at that rate. You know what I'm saying? So just some thoughts on that preparation. And it's definitely storm season when you look around the country, all the tornadoes and whatnot. So hurricane season will be coming soon. If you're prepared for those type of emergencies. You'll be able to handle the the EMP or something so much better, you know, coronal mass ejection, meteorites, whatever. You'd be able to handle that so much better without necessarily focusing on that issue. So that's my preparedness tip of the day. <laughs> I haven't talked about prepping and stuff in a while, but uh, always keep it on the front of the mind, you know, still doing little things to improve the position, you know. It's hard to take big bites, but taking little bites at a time does what it does. So we're rolling into the big town here. We'll talk to y'all later. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you tomorrow, hopefully. Or this video might not even come out till tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, we'll see how this gets processed, uploaded on time, or how long it takes, or whatever. But. Uh, I got the time to drive, I might as well run my mouth a little bit. <laughs> See if anybody wants to listen or converse. So y'all have a good weekend. Enjoy as much as you can. They're free. <laughs>